Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. Uh, just for the record, uh, at Denver Broncos Mile High View, uh, this is not a raw, raw fan, feel good uh, channel. It's not our purpose in life to do that. We're very uh, objective. Uh, you know, we uh, do more analytics. Uh, in the real sense, not just crunching a bunch of stats together because uh, you can break stats down. For instance, like tackles. Well, what kind of tackles? You, you know, did this guy, he had a lot of tackles. Well, they were always way downfield because, you know, they ran the ball at him and his his partner on the other side. They didn't run on his side because, you know, he could stop the, the run and make a tackle for a very short gain. So this uh, other guy who isn't as good, gets all these tackles because he's like chasing people down. Just an example of, of what I'm trying to get at with stats is that the, you know, numbers are just, are, are just numbers unless you can put context to them. So what we do is we, we like to watch film. Um, so, uh, Russell Wilson isn't any different is not, uh, uh, doesn't deserve scrutiny, doesn't deserve, you know, some criticism. Uh, this is definitely not, to, to say we hate Russell Wilson, he's a bum. Again, uh, it's not our purpose here to to hate be hating on anybody uh, or cheering anybody. We're just strictly nuts and bolts. Let's take a look under the hood. What do we have? So, I mean, if you're into feel good stuff uh, or hating either one, you're, you're not going to like this. It's just pure uh, pure analytic kind of film review. But uh, uh, Looking at uh, Russell Wilson in the Denver Broncos, uh, a couple of things. Uh, there was just a press conference the other day with Russell Wilson, and he's a no-bullshit kind of guy. I really, truly believe the Broncos are on a two-year probation uh, with this guy. Um, and he's not a guy where things are just good enough. He's not a just good enough guy. Uh, and the Denver Broncos and their propaganda and their fans – went from all in to just good enough. And uh, it's, that's a little bit alarming. But the Broncos have a track record with quarterbacks. And unfortunately, Russell Wilson is, is going to be no different uh, and is going to have to overcome some of the organizational problems uh, with that position uh, because you cannot just simply blame quarterbacks when an organization goes through so many of them. Um, the the uh, argument also should be made that you, the organization was to blame probably actually for a lot of it too. Uh, when it comes to, when you have a, uh, a backyard full of buried quarterbacks. Uh, so what you, uh, what Russell Wilson is going to have to overcome and, and looking at the film study, I've been, this is going to be a, a, a continued study of Re Russell Wilson 2021 and uh, what is disturbing, a couple of things are, are a bit disturbing. One, uh, it's the offensive line of the Denver Broncos, notorious, going all the way back to the Trevor Simeon days of, you know, people in this mentality of just good enough. Looking at Seattle's film, uh, it seems to me Seattle's offensive line, it gets a lot of criticism, doesn't break down as much as... Um, the Denver Broncos, uh, so far, this is what I'm saying. And that's not just in the past passing game. It's also Broncos had, uh, as we broke, we break down Broncos film, uh, a number of, uh, uh, breakdowns in the running game as well. Uh, that's something that, uh, Russell Wilson's going to have to deal with. And like I said, it, it, again, I think the Broncos are on a two year probation, and uh, Russell Wilson is not obligated to have to sign an extension. In two years, he could go wherever he wants. And there's no – we don't really know, honestly. He, uh, According to uh, public publications that I, I linked on the, on the film, uh, people close to Russell Wilson said he wanted to go to the Giants first and also New Orleans, but that, that those didn't work out. And then – Third was the Denver Broncos. But what I'm getting at is uh, he's in Denver, so that's really what counts. But he can go in two years. He doesn't have to sign an extension. If, if the Broncos are going to clown around and not get serious with building this team correctly, um, there's, no, there's nothing saying that he can't in two years. I'm a free agent. Now I'll go where I want to go. Uh, that's just a cold, hard fact. And I don't want to lose Russell Wilson. 
So, but he's going to have to overcome problems with the offensive line. Uh, with saying that, uh, there were some uh, issues with Russell Wilson that um, have to do with, you know, missing wide open receivers, seeing that. Um, so uh, Kurt Warner brought this up too. Uh, that I wouldn't still get rid of, um, I wouldn't get rid of Russell Wilson over that. I mean, he is a human being after all. But what makes it problematic is – I. Uh, a quarterback for the Broncos may have a tendency to to not stay in the pocket because of the inconsistency, you know. And in and, and if the Broncos end up getting him killed, I want to bring this up too. If the Broncos end up getting him killed his first year again, that's not going to bode well for him wanting to stay with the Denver Broncos. Um, so uh, in in light of him, uh, one thing I've noticed he does sometimes bail out of plays where he should stay in the pocket and he could complete a pass. Um, I don't want to see Russell Wilson running around too much because he's getting older and, you know, you need two running backs in this because this this day and age because of the, the, the running backs getting nicked up. You don't want him getting nicked up. So I'd ra- rather see more passing and a whole lot less running. You know, moving around in the pocket is one thing and throwing a pass or doing something off schedule, throwing a pass, fine. But I don't want to see, you know, this offensive line breaking down and him having to bail so many times that it ends up getting him killed. I guess that's just the point I'm trying to make. So uh, anyway, let's go on with this film study. I see Hackett has this bombs away approach. Uh, Those are low percentage passes. Um, uh, Critics have said uh, bombs are great and let's do that fine. But let's uh, hone down on the high percentage pass plays. And here's a little uh, boot keeper. I like it. And I'd like to see Hackett run this a bit. It's kind of out of the old West Coast playbook. Uh, uh, and I also want to say that it's going to be crucial in with Russell Wilson to do, do a lot of running, too. I know Bronco fans aren't probably going to like that, but you have a decent running back. Uh and uh, hopefully he doesn't get nicked up. We don't want to overuse him. We want to kind of maybe use a tandem of quarterbacks. But um, I think we need the Broncos need to, uh, in order to get the play action going that Russell Wilson really can benefit from, uh, a lot more running, I think, than uh, a lot of fans may want. But I think to keep, uh, because of the offensive line isn't really stellar, and that uh, uh, we don't want to get Russell Wilson injured, I think that uh, you definitely want to see uh, uh, some running. So here we have a little boot keeper. Uh, it is uh, it, it's nice to see, you know, uh, throws on target. And uh, the high percentage play right there. Now, no quarterback is beyond criticism. Again, this is we do this not because we hate, but things have to be pointed out. And one of the problems I do have in right with Russell Wilson is the tendency to miss wide open plays. Uh, here uh, we have Russell Wilson going to his check down, but oh, you don't need to do that. You have a wide open receiver right there. Throw it right there. You can throw it right there. Uh, This would have been a big play. Um, Unfortunately, uh, he misses this, uh, and this is a continuation of the drive. On the second series for Seattle, here's something I don't want to see Russell Wilson doing. Uh, This is, again, another um, open receiver missed. Scrambles, you know, opening himself up for injury. And I realize that everybody, you know, likes to see Russell Wilson scrambling around. You don't want to see him, you know, on the sideline watching the backup play. That That's definitely what you don't want to see. And this is just the kind of stuff absolutely we don't want to see. Russell Wilson's got to, in my opinion, he needs to work on stepping it up, seeing wide open receivers. Here, uh, he misses the read. This guy, here he is right there. You, you got him. He's wide open. Hit, hit the guy. Hit the guy. Uh, but he doesn't in scrambles instead.
at my live view, we don't just critique the quarterbacks or the players. We also critique the coaches. Here we have a slant. It's a great play by Wilson, a great design by Pete Carroll. You can say all you want about him. But at my live view, we were criticizing Shermer because Shermer just consistently run receivers and routes well short of the sticks, no matter how close they were. Here you see the receiver is hit right at the at the marker, right at the marker, right at the marker. That is how good teams, that's how the good coaches, the good teams execute plays. You know, the thing that was really frustrating was having so many people defend Shermer's ina- in, inadequate uh, play calling, play design. You design a play, and Russell Wilson hits this guy right in stride, right in the right at the sticks, right at the marker. So this is the way it's supposed to be done. And I'm hoping that you know we get away from that Shermer way of doing things. And we went on these third down conversions. This is this is what makes and breaks quarterbacks. You can throw bombs all day long if you want, but if you're not converting third downs, I don't care who you are. You ain't. You're not winning championships. That's for sure. If you like the big throw, then you're going to like this this play right here. Here we have Russell Wilson uh, going to be throwing a deep to his uh, receiver on the left. And uh, you'll see that Russell Wilson will make a little move as if he's going to throw it into the middle of the field. I don't know if that causes the DB to react the way he reacts, but this is what's important. Wilson sees that the DB's hips uh, is... Uh, well, he sees that the DB is facing infield, and he knows that his receiver is going to be running to the sideline, and there is no hesitation. This is an easy read for a quarterback. Uh, the DB is not only soft, but he's completely out of position. This It doesn't even get better than this. This is You're going to get chewed up all day long. You make these kind of mistakes as a DB. Easy bomb to the receiver. Big play. This uh, bomb uh, play actually opened up a series of running plays that resulted in a touchdown. In watching Russell Wilson film, I've noticed that he has a knack for really picking up on the slant play, leading his receivers. Here we have a pitch and catch for a big play. All right, this is what I call good Russell Wilson, bad Russell Wilson. The first uh, is the good Russell Wilson on an incomplete pass. What do you What do you mean incomplete pass? Is that, that's not good. No, I actually uh, can live with this because this is a first down. So Russell Wilson could go to the check down, be checked down Charlie, but he's Russell Wilson, right? We'll give our receiver a chance. Well, this uh, DB is really doing his job. It's a great job by the DB. So it's a throwaway. Nope, no harm, no foul. At least you're trying. At least you're making an effort. First down, hey, you know, maybe we'll run the next play and then, you know, make see what we do on third. So, like the decision by Russell Wilson to give his receiver a chance wasn't there. I could live with that. Uh, you know, he could, like I said, he could have hit the man in the middle and got five yards, but uh, hey, let's try and see if we can get it all. You're Russell Wilson. All right, now the bad. <laughs> and this is actually ugly. You have. Russell Wilson breaking the cardinal rule. He leaves the pocket. He he give he gives up on the pocket and he misses a wide open receiver. Now, as a disclaimer, he only did the I only saw him do this one time in the game, but it's bad. I mean, here here's a game they lost and in no way would I pin it all on on this one play or or Wilson, but if he makes this play and not give up on the pocket, he makes this, it's a first down. You know, he st- stays in the pocket. I mean, I've seen Drew Locke do this. I've seen Teddy Bridgewater do this. I've seen Driscoll do this. I've seen Flacco do this. Uh, I've seen Herbert do this. I've seen Carr do this. And I've seen Mahomes do this. So if those guys can do it, buddy, you got to do it too. It's big boy ball and you got to stay in the pocket. You can't give up on it. He turns. His pocket is absolutely perfect for him to step up, make that throw, step up, make that throw. It's right there. First down. You know, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see too much of this. I realize that, quite frankly, the, the Broncos, for seven years, or excuse me, six seasons, their line is much less consistent than what I've seen from Seattle so far, so in both the running and passing game. So they better get that that fixed. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm, I'm skeptical. So, yes, I'm going to be looking at uh, New Orleans versus 
Seattle. It was a, 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 a game that you see Wilson going against a tough defense. Like I said, I don't want to see highlight reels. I just, I'd like to see, you know, break down what went wrong. We'll continue this into next year and see these problems crop up. I mean, not just with Russell Wilson. This is, you know, what, what is our offensive line going to do? What are, what are our receivers going to do? So far, I, I like their receivers. They really make an effort to get open, where ours just, you know, under Shermer would just kind of run, you know, casual routes or whatever. So we'll see if uh, Russell Wilson can light a fire under their ass, too. So next time, it's going to be Saints versus Russell Wilson.